hope nobody notices I'm wearing a wire. Hey guys, Vaden Vic here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the Aspire Speeder Kit from Aspire, sent to me by aspireesigs.co.uk, link in the description to them, a very good place to get your Aspire gear if you're in the UK. Um, this is the non-TPD version though, there is a TPD version and a non-TPD one, uh, the non is 4mm and the uh, TPD one is of course 2mm capacity. The Aspire Speeder Kit. Uh, what is it? It is a 200 watt uh, box mod uh, following on from the Archon or Archeon uh, mod that they did, uh, which we were all very impressed with. Um, this is their latest one. This is their new uh, mod. Uh, so it features the same sort of board, the same sort of navigation as that one, um, but uh, in a completely different chassis, dual 18650. Um, it also features a brand new tank, the uh, Athos tank, I believe it is called. Uh, and again, this is uh, an interesting tank. It comes with two coil heads, uh, a 0.3 coil head, uh, which is a slightly calmer vape, you know, 50 to 70 style watts. And then they have a 0 0.15 or 0.16 coil head, uh, which is uh, very, very cloudy indeed currently got the um, 0.3 coil head at 60 watts and it's vaping like this. So there we go, TC, TCR, power curve, the works on this. Uh, let's go down low so you can have a proper good look at it and then we'll come back up top for pros and cons of the Aspire Speeder Kit. See you in a sec. Okay guys, here we are with the Aspire Speeder Kit, 200 watts uh, from Aspire, this is the box, lovely packaging, uh, everything on point from Aspire as per, opening her up, we've got uh, all our paperwork and stuff, there's a really nice thing about battery safety in there which I really appreciate, really like, uh, we've got our tank, which I'll take out now, tank there, we'll show you that in a second, uh, we've got a spare glass tank, a spares, uh, o-rings and stuff. We've got another coil head there. Uh, two coil heads on this, the point two and the point, uh, uh, point sorry, the point one six and the point three. Uh, so here we go. Here is the mod. So let's take a peek at this. Can I get it to not flip? <laughs> here we go. So uh, lovely bright screen, uh, loads of stuff on there. You've got your dual battery uh, monitors. You've got your uh, lock there, which signifies that you can adjust the wattage right now. Uh, no atomizer on top at this moment. Come on, that's a very long shout. Uh, tells you what mode you're in there. Uh, 60 watts, voltage, ohms, amps, all that good stuff. Here is your buttons. So you've got your minus and your plus buttons there, sort of seamlessly built in. You've got your micro USB there. It does have uh, what we call in the business fast charging. <laughs> the two amp charge jobby, it's got all that going on, which is good. Fire button is actually the word Aspire here. It's uh, linked in here, you know, so it's to the uh, thing. But it's not one of these, like, clasp ones. There is an actual button here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it does it does do its thing. Uh, we've got our uh, battery door underneath here. Pulling that latch releases your batteries. I'm actually using the Aspire batteries right now. And uh, for something like this, it's been absolutely fine. So uh, thumbs up for the batteries. Speeder written on the back. Like there. Showing you around as much as possible here. We've got the 510 spring loaded. No issues with that so far. It seems to fit flush about 25 mil atomizers. Uh, so anything bigger than that might look a bit dodge. But uh, it's one of these mods that looks okay with smaller atomizers as well, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, quite enjoying the 510, which is perfectly flush. So uh, let's put that to one side and have a look at the tank. So this is the Athos tank. I believe that's what it's called, but it's one of these made-up words type jobbies. Uh, it's got the Cleto style drip tips. I think the dimensions are different again, unfortunately, uh, but it does come with uh, a black one and a see-through one there, and uh, that just slips on like that. So you can't use your own drip tips per se, uh, but there will be a plethora 
of uh, drip tips available, I'm sure. Uh, you've got your big glass window here. You've got your adjustable airflow. Uh, it's one of these adjustable airflows. It's in three points here, and you can adjust it like that. It's one of these where it actually just comes off. <laughs> uh, obviously, not a problem when it is on the mod. Uh, we've got a semi-nice protruding 510. That's not too bad at all. Do be careful if you're using it on a hybrid device, though, obviously. Um, you've got your top fill here. Unscrewing this shows you the top fill. Uh, what they've done quite cleverly with this is they've put a little hole on this side uh, which allows the air to escape. Rather than having two big holes, just got one one little hole on one side and you fill it up down that hole. Uh, no problem with that, although it is a completely plastic top cap. We've talked about that before. I think they work better with a bit of metal threading in there. Last longer for sure. Um, but there we go. That is that. If we turn it upside down and unscrew it, you've got uh, your fairly typical fairly typical thing going on. You remove the glass and you can unscrew your coil. That is what the 0.3 coil looks like there, the three coil situation. Uh, but fairly typical situation with the uh, with the old clearmizer coil head. That's why that juice off. Okay, so screwing her on, let's uh, navigate you around this uh, this board. Okay, so let's not get too juicy. Let's keep it real. Okay, so hopefully we can get that to flip. There we go. Um, okay, so everything goes down on a series of uh, clicks. So, for example, plus and minus, that locks the keys. So now if you try and adjust it, you can't. Nothing happens. Unlock, uh, fire and minus, and you're, uh, you're unlocked again. It's got some other hidden stuff as well, like five clicks is locked like that which is great and that's as off as you can get it without removing the batteries there's no hard off or uh, software off uh, option at all so one two three four five takes it off uh, one two three takes you into stealth mode where it vapes along normally but the screen isn't showing one two three there we go and then we're back again out of stealth mode um, fire and plus takes you into the options here so you've got bypass voltage you've got your curves TC TCR all that good stuff um, you can oh we're in TC now are we no we're staying in wattage um, sorry it keeps flipping at uh, quite a lot on here sorry about that if you go one two oh sorry if we go first and then plus and minus that is how you're doing that bit um, so you can navigate through there. Uh, when it's firing, nice quick ramp up time. Uh, fires pretty quick. You've got your ohms, voltage and amps on there as well. Uh, just like the Archeon, very much so in that case. Uh, putting it all together and it looks like this. It's quite a big kit. It's quite a long kit. Um, obviously the TPD one will be a little bit cuter, a little bit shorter. Uh, I think it's about 10 mil shorter or 18 mil short or something like that. Um, but that has not actually been released yet. Uh, but there we go. So that's the Aspire Speeder Kit. Let's go back up top. Okay, guys, that was the Aspire Speeder Kit down low. Um, where do we start? It's it's one of, it's another one of these kits where, in my opinion, it definitely comes down to personal preference of looks, design, feel, size, all those sort of things. Um, I have a couple of sort of negatives that I found through usage. Uh, firstly, I love that the full screen flips when you do that. However, it's incredibly sensitive. So when you're holding it that way up, you know, it can be flipping around like all the time, and it's slightly too sensitive that flip sensor on here. Um, per, that's my personal opinion, that's just something I've noticed. It can get almost, it's almost too uh, sensitive and it just flips like mad sometimes and it doesn't need to do that. It could be a bit more chilled out. Um, the other one is the fire button. The fire button on this uh, is built into the case. It's kind of quite stiff. It's kind of quite stiff. It's a, it's a, it's a real it's a real push, you know, and it's because it's only this very top section here, uh, it's not one of these where you it sort of works if you grab it all, you know, uh, it doesn't feel like the sort of one, you know, like the smock ones, aliens and things like that, where you can grab the whole thing to vape it. It doesn't really feel like that. Um, so the fire button's a little bit weird. Um, so there's that. Into If we're talking about negatives as well, um, personally, I think it's kind of, it's kind of out there looks wise. It's very rounded. It's very big. Um, it's very chunky. Uh, it's got a nice solid feel to it. Uh, the tank, I mean, the tank is designed for the mod, but it only just sort of fits on. Um, 
and it's a very tall kit, it's a very tall unit. Uh, we've talked a lot recently about how small mods are getting, how small mods have got. Um, and we've talked about uh, the mi like the minikins and things like that. You know this, you know this is a fair bit taller. You know, in to in total height of the entire kit, uh, and so it's quite a big thing. It's quite a big, big thing, a chunky f thing in the hand. You know, so I don't know. It's it's quite big and it's quite strange looking in my opinion. Uh, I know some people are loving the absolute, lo absolutely loving the looks of this, uh, but personally, I'm not sure looks wise if it's for me. Um, you know, that's a big long tank on there. You know, I would like, to, I can't wait to see what the TPD version looks like, which is coming out really soon. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, it's it, not to my taste looks wise. We've talked about it a lot. Um, my tastes are more, you know, your, your Evic Primo and things like that. Have I got one to hand? Yes, I have. This is my sort of bag, you know, the Evic Primo style look, uh, you know, and that's a 200 watt situation as well. So um, that's more my thing, more my thing in looks wise. Uh, it's very quite space age, isn't it? It's quite modern looking. Um, I don't know. It's purely your thing. But I'm just saying my personal thing is I'm not quite sure about the looks of this. Beyond that, cannot fault it. The Archon was fantastic from Aspire, a fantastic mod, well, very well made worked very very well this is the same it's got a really nice bright screen uh, easy to use navigation uh, it hits its wattage it hits its TC TCR power curves all that stuff is spot-on uh, battery life is excellent on this mod the tank is is pretty good its tank is pretty good I'm getting nice flavor nice clouds uh, with both coil heads can not fault the actual vape quality of the tank. I think it's crazy big. Um, I'm sure they could get the size down on this, um, but I can't fault the vape of this mod or of this tank at all. Uh, I think it's absolutely fine. So functionally, it's a definite win. It's a definite win. It's a good tank. It's a good mod in terms of what it's supposed to do and what it does do. It does do those things perfectly. For me, though, I think the looks is slightly off-putting for me personally. Just for me personally, uh, the looks uh, is, a, is a thing. Um, another great thing about this, it's Aspire, so you know it's the case. Um, it's very well made and it's very affordable. The mod on its own from uh, AspireEsigs.co.uk is 50 quid. 50 quid for a mod that can do all this in this day and age, I think is bang on. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure you are not going to hear quality control issues about a device like this. Um, I think, you know, I think it's going to stand up to punishment, a really good work beater, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, the Aspire Speeder kit. Um, functionally excellent for me, not sure about the looks. Uh, I've been Vic, and I'll see you again soon.